If you look at the world, you look at the technology, we haven't been getting any healthier. The life expectancy of someone who reaches the age of 60 hasn't really fundamentally shifted. What we've done is eliminate a number of diseases and we've reduced some of the risk factors that cause premature death. But we haven't extended dramatically the lifespan once people make it to the second half of living for a century. In fact, there's a risk that the current generation of young children may not outlive their parents in terms of life expectancy. And so we made that pivot into wellness and to formulate our products to really serve humanity and serve their health needs. And this was pre-pandemic. I think now in the current situation where there's certainly no doubt now that the topic of wellness and health has catapulted in the number one position in terms of future trends. And this current pandemic will have a dramatic impact upon the psyche and the mental state of young people growing up today. So despite the pandemic, you know, Fine continues their commitment to becoming one of the leading market companies in the world. We've developed reusable products, such as masks, to minimize the effect on the environment. Customer health and safety, reducing our environmental impact and giving back to the communities is our focus as a leader in the market sector. We started as a hygiene company. By hygiene, I mean consumer paper products. What we did is we made the pivot into wellness. And then when the pandemic started, I called a virologist that I knew and, and had a discussion. And I asked him some questions. He said, I've looked at it. The attachment rate to the human respiratory tract is 10x, 10 times. He said, this thing's going global. If it's respiratory and if it's airborne, the number one thing that a human being can do to protect themselves and others is to cover their nose and mouth because that's how it enters. Now, this is common sense science. If you can only do one thing, you wear a mask because we're breathing this in. Personal hygiene has always been important in the fight against illness. And certainly in today's environment, it's even more important to take care of ourselves and our family. From a consumer's point of view, we should look at products that actually kill germs or remove germs for as long as possible. We had been experimenting with a technology out of Switzerland. What it does is it not only kills germs, but it keeps killing germs. And so what happened when the pandemic started, we realized we could apply this technology immediately onto fabric masks, a mask that not only kills the germs, but keeps killing them up to 30 washes. And that led to then gloves, and now a whole line of disinfection products, which the whole benefit is around extended disinfection. We have hand sanitizer that sanitizes continuously for 24 hours, one application. So you don't have to keep reapplying, you don't dry your skin out, you don't have the irritation. We believe these are really life-changing products and life-changing benefits. And this idea of extended disinfection is a big change versus previous pandemics and previous concerns about germs. The, the technology is now available. It's out there. We've put it in our Fine Guard product line, and this will change the whole world of disinfection. All our tissues are sterilized. Uh, we're basically using a patented technology called SteriPro. Uh, it uses an uh, ultraviolet uh, base, which basically kills 99.9% .9 of the germs, uh, thus producing a sterilized tissue that is safe to use. Let's take our face, for instance. We have eyes, we have nose, we have mouth. All these parts are uh, main entry points of germs into our bodies. Imagine you're using a tissue that is not sterilized. It's, it, it doesn't make sense. So I think using a sterilized tissue is the right choice. I think it should be the only choice. We have long positioned our paper products as the world's only sterilized tissue. And since infection is top of mind, a revitalized priority on health and hygiene now influences every single decision-making process. Motiva supplements are carefully formulated with natural ingredients to boost our immune system. They're based uh, on three main pillars. One, they're 100% natural. Two, they're highly absorbent. All Motiva supplements are backed by science and have undergone extensive research. And three is they're scientifically proven. 
Our main focus is to provide our customers with the best supplements out there, supplements that actually work and are highly absorbent. The main aim of Motiva is to lead to a stronger immune system and overall well-being. We will continue to have a culture of humility, of respect for our competition, respect for the consumer, respect for the customer. And all of this starts with our people and our culture. We're here to work, to provide for our families, to have fun, and to make an impact on the world. The heart of FINE is the employee's wellness. One of our core values is if we take care of the people, you know, the business will take care of itself. People, the staff are our most important asset. We like to create an environment that attracts and retains the best people. And, you know, we aspire to be a company where people love to join us, but hate to leave. FINE truly walks the talk. The numerous world-class policies that are put in place for employees' happiness and well-being, FINE is committed to including more women in different managerial roles within the organization. As a female myself, I am truly empowered to support and help females grow within their careers. The beautiful thing about consumer tissue is it's a very steady business. It grows with population. Masks obviously became huge. No one likes wearing a mask. I make masks and I don't like wearing a mask. Now I do it because it's responsible and I want to protect myself and I want to protect the people around me. Now once everyone is vaccinated and we've hit herd immunity of 70 or 75% of the population, the mask business is going to plunge. There will always be a mask business, but it will be quite diminished and quite smaller than it was during the height of the pandemic. We will continue to innovate and try new things. We know we'll fail sometimes and that's okay. I don't demand 100% success rate from my organization. You can't have innovation with no risk. And so it's, it's worthwhile to try and to take bets on these markets and that's what we do. So we will continue to be the innovators in trying new things. And when we have a new thing that works, we go very fast. That's the key.